Yo guys, what is up? Crafter here and today a little bit controversial topic. We're gonna talk about premium and making maps free permanent. As you all probably know that premium friends isn't permanent at the moment. It was never confirmed to be. They've only said it's for the testing period of time to see how it turns out. So let's take a look at the scenario where it will be gone after some time. It will not stay in the game permanently, right? Before I start any speculations, I just want you to know that I don't have any idea whether it is legally possible for them to change premium now after they've already sold the product, so just keep that in mind. So, as I've already mentioned at the beginning, let's take a look at the scenario where everyone with the vanilla Battlefield 1 game gets free DLC maps. Of course, first, the two-week early access for premium members to new DLC maps should still exist. Also, weapons from DLCs, tanks and elite classes, everything but the maps should also be only available for the premium members. We would need a little bit more weapons for premium members than there are at the moment if those maps would be free for everyone, but if we are already going with adding prototypes that haven't been even used during the World War One, then I think they can come up with ideas to add even more guns to the game. Another thing that DICE should take into the consideration with premium membership is to allow premium members for the characters customization. It really would benefit since a lot of people request to have it in the game and I suppose a lot of premium members would like to see this added. If they don't want to give it to everyone, just make this premium feature and that's another way to encourage people to buy premium. They really would appreciate the ability to stand out of the crowd and look at H1Z1 for example. A lot of people spend hundreds of dollars on skins for this game and it's all just to look cool and stand out of the crowd. And the same would apply to Battlefield I think. Well, another cool feature that I could come up with are assignments that give you scraps or even some skins for the characters, for weapons or for vehicles, for sentries even maybe. So this could be a cool feature. The way I see this is you would have to meet some requirements in order to complete the assignment and get the skin, but then it would really actually reward you, not give you XP. XP doesn't really mean anything in this game. Events, events, and I say this one more time, events. They are really, really important for keeping communities together and keeping them active. Why don't you just put the 1.5 multipliers for scraps for premium members during weekend dice or make something like double scraps during winter break and every other holidays that we have during the year. I've mentioned assignments before and there is a potential to just combine assignments with events so you would for example have some events for Christmas let's say and you would have extra assignments, extra skins, extra bonuses, extra rewards, it would really make it cool. Or for example make events that will make it available to unlock the piece of puzzles during them by completing certain assignments. Make some new melee weapons that are available for those premium members who complete them. Like there is so much potential in here. Another idea, give them some scraps or battle packs for daily gameplay, like if they play every day, you could reward them for that and again, they would appreciate that. You could even drop an XP boost every Monday for each premium member and guys, it wouldn't hurt you. You could give premium members more scraps after each round. I know you've added the feature where you get 50 scraps for playing the round, 25 for winning it and another 25 for being in those people who are were the best in some way like best flag defender or best support you know what i'm saying you could make it additional 25 for each round for premium members and again this wouldn't hurt you i have to say though they fucked up this system so bad the rewarding with scraps is such a bad system for now. You get 100 scraps per 24 hours, so 
if you win one round and get awarded with 100 scraps, then you have to wait 24 hours to be able to get it for another round. That's so bullshit. Alright guys, that is it for this video, I hope you enjoyed, if you did, remember to leave a like, subscribe, if you have any other ideas how to make premium better, make sure to leave them in the comment. Also, if you are new to the channel, I do stuff like Battlefield 1 tutorials, tips and tricks videos and gameplays, and as always, see you on the battlefield!